Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And in this tutorial, I am going to explain you what are the variables in Python and how to use them effectively with some simple examples. So without further ado, let's get into it. Variables are nothing but reserved memory locations to the stored values. It means that when we create a variable, we are reserving some space in the memory. Unlike other programming languages, Python has no command for declaring a variable. So unlike other languages, we don't have to declare a variable. It is automatically created the moment we first assign a value to it. We also don't need to give the specific data type to our variable. Based upon the data type of variable, the interpreter allocates memory and decides what can be stored in the reserved memory. Therefore, by assigning different data types to variables, we can store integers, decimals or characters in these variables. Python variables do not need explicit declaration to reserve memory space. The declaration happens automatically when we assign a value to it. The equal signs is used to assign value to variables. As you can see in this given examples, the operand to the left of the equal to operator is the name of the variable and the operand to the right of the equal to operator is the value stored in the variable. So as you can see for this first example, length is the variable name and 100 is the value assigned to it. Let me show you how to create a variable in Python. This is the Python command line. So for creating the variable, in the first example, we will create a integer type variable. So for this, we have to give the variable name here. So in this case, we are going to give the name length and we are going to assign the value. But before that, we have to use equal to operator. After equal to, we have to assign some value to our variable. So in this case, we will use integer 100. So our variable has been created with the name length and the value 100 assigned to it. To show this, we have to print our variable. For this, just use the print command and in bracket length, which is the variable name. After hitting enter, as you can see, the value assigned to our length variable. We can also assign the floating point to our variable. So in this case, we will use height, which is the variable name equal to operator and the pointer. In this case, we will use 150.2. After hitting enter, our next variable has been created. To display this variable, we just use print command as usual. So print and our variable name is height. After hitting enter, as you can see, the floating point value assigned to our height variable. In the next example, we will store string value in our next variable. Our next variable will be color and equals to for strings, we can use single inverted comma or double inverted comma to assign a string value to a variable. So in this case, we will use double inverted comma and our string will be green. After hitting enter, as you can see, the string value has been assigned to our color variable. Again, we will use print command to display the value of our variable color. After hitting enter, as you can see, our string has been assigned to the color variable. Python allows you to assign a single value to several variables simultaneously. So, for example, if we have to assign one value to the multiple variables. So in this case, we will assign A equals to B equals to C. So for all these three variables, we will assign one value equals to 10. After hitting enter, and now we will print all the variables. Print A, print B, print C. So as you can see, one value has been assigned to all our three variables. 
we can also assign multiple objects to multiple variables. For these, we will assign three different values to the different variables. So in this case, we will use a, comma b, comma c, and equals to. We will assign three different objects to these variables. For first variable, we will assign ten, comma. Next one will be twenty-five comma and the other one will be the string for this we will use double inverted comma and just type our string which is red after hitting enter so as you can see here two integer objects with values 10 and 25 are assigned to variables a and b respectively and one string object with the value red is assigned to the variable c for the validation purpose we will print all the three of variables. In this case, first print A. Now print B. And print C. As you can see, three different objects are assigned to our three different variables. I hope you got the clear understanding. What are the variables in Python and how to assign them with some simple examples. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates.